At Simple Improvement, we offer training, coaching and facilitation in continuous improvement. And the aim of this video is to explain a little bit about what we do and how we might be able to help you build your own culture of continuous improvement. And I thought I might do that by applying one of the models that we use within organisations to help them build a bespoke programme. And it's called the I model. Now the I is for improvement, but this very quickly got called the insect model. Now, I have no idea why. But all I'm going to do is work through each of the four segments and talk about all of the elements of this model so you can understand what simple improvement is all about. So let's start by understanding what these segments mean. And there's really four parts. We start off with why. So the purpose behind everything. And people need to know why before they can move on to how. Okay, so what methods are we going to use to implement improvements? Then we can get into the detail of what we're actually going to do. And improvement is really done project by project. And then finally, we review and learn from all of that so that we can improve things going forward. So we improve our improvement programme. So let's start with that first segment, the green segment, which is all about the mission and vision of the organisation. And in terms of simple improvement, our mission is to help organisations build a continuous improvement culture. Okay? Simple. We'll talk about how we do that in a second, but that's our, that's our mission. Our vision is to have as many organisations as possible with continuous improvement programmes. And we're particularly focused on the service, transactional administrative environments, the HR, the finance, customer service, charities, government, anything that looks like a modern office. That's, that's our world and we want to help you to implement improvements. But we're very keen on the idea of amplification. So we do a little bit and then you take it on and amplify it within your organisation. So what we have to be very good at is actually providing training and coaching. It has to be simple, it's got to be practical and it's got to involve everybody. But because we're focused on really training trainers and getting to you to build your own culture, it's got, everything has got to be fun because that's the best way that adults learn. It's, it's a friendly atmosphere so people feel open and able to contribute ideas. But we're very focused on building something which is particularly good for you. It's a bespoke programme for your organisation. It's not just something that we're applying because it's the current flavour of the month. So let's move on and look at this middle section of the eye model, which is this yellow part, which is how we do it. Well, we provide both products and services for organisations to build their own improvement programme. So what does that mean? Well, products are a series of books that we write, training slides and other materials that you can pick up and train within your own organisation. And the services are, are training and coaching facilitation. But remember the, the concept of amplification. We do a little bit and you then amplify it through the rest of the organisation. So you might take us on for a few days, but it's not, certainly not weeks and months because everything is, remember, simple, practical, and involves everybody. Well, so we're trying to produce simple, off-the-shelf systems that you can apply. But we can tailor them and make them bespoke for your organisation in a way that's going to be most successful considering your particular situation. Now, the method we use, we really like practical process improvement because that works very well in a service, modern office environment. It's great for teams of people coming together to improve hidden processes, the ones that are in the conversations, in computers and in the cloud. But we also have a strong background in Lean and Six Sigma and many of the other improvement methods out there and, and um, the ones that really were built for manufacturing. So we can take those and apply them to your situation. It depends on what's, what's good for you. So we have to be very good at training, coaching and facilitation. And I spend a lot of my time thinking about that, writing about that and putting that into practice so that we can provide a system which is as easy as possible for you to implement and see excellent results. And the organisation we have within Simple Improvement is just me. Okay? So I am Simple Improvement, the company. 
but I have business partners that I work with and networks of trainers who can get you going in practical process improvement or Lean or Six Sigma or any of the other programs. And the other key connection that I have is to Ed Zunich, that the great man that produced the practical process improvement program to begin with. And he's a very, very clear thinker and allows us to simplify down to what really works within organisations. So let's move on and look at this blue segment of the model. And this is really what are we doing to put all of this into practice? We get into the detail of the model. So we are trying to connect with service transactional administrative environments to try and help all the people that work in the modern office to build a culture of continuous improvement. So aside from actually working with organisations and putting in place improvement plans, we're also working on this simple off-the-shelf system. So, so far, I've written eight training books and guides to try and help you with the associated slides and all the material that come along with that. And I'm working on the next book, which is for leadership and about implementing continuous improvement within your organisation. So, I have a, a number of processes that I run. One which is, how do you write the books? Well, how do you make that an effective and efficient process? We also are developing the 5, 12 and 20 day training packages to allow you to get started so you can amplify continuous improvement throughout the whole of your organisation. And that is really important because we're trying to design programmes with you so that it works within your particular situation. So how, whatever works for you. And in terms of metrics, we can help you with metrics because people really go off track with that. The metrics should be measuring processes, not outcomes. So in, in our terms, we're looking at the number of customers that we can help. So that's in terms of number of books that we sell, the number of training packages that we can put in place, and overall the number of improvement programs that we can help to build. Okay, let's finish off by looking at the last segment of the I model, which is about results and reviewing and learning. This is, in effect, the insect's head. Okay? And the question is, how do you learn and improve? And from our point of view, you should be reviewing each meeting. You should be conducting a wrap-up at the end of each meeting, at the end of each conference call, so that you can learn how to make it better next time. Every project should be reviewed, and you should be reviewing your programme of projects on a monthly basis, at least. It doesn't take very long, but that discipline of a regular review really helps you build improvement into your improvement programme. You should be running maybe a few projects to start with because improvement is done step by step, project by project. But that very quickly should expand into dozens of projects, if not hundreds of projects. Now, while they might take a little bit of time to begin with because of the training, you can get them down to a very short period. It might be a day. It might just be an afternoon to go through an, a complete improvement programme and implement the solutions. The key thing is that you keep reviewing and assessing how your programme is going. And we can help with that. In fact, we can help in actually designing your, your programme, implementing it, and then providing the review and that check to make sure that you keep moving forward. So please get in contact and see how we can help you. <laughs>